Tell what I proposed, how to do it. We're going to raise the corporate tax rate. It was 35 percent for the longest time, which was too high. Barack and I thought it was too high during our administration. We all agreed five years ago that it should come down somewhat. But the previous administration reduced it all the way down to 21 percent. What I'm proposing is that we meet in the middle, 28 percent. 28 percent would still have lower corporate rates than any time between World War II and 2017. It will generate over a trillion dollars in taxes over 15 years. A new independent study put out last week found that at least 55 of our largest corporations lose the very use the various loopholes to pay zero federal tax income tax in 2020. It's just not fair. It's not fair to the rest of the American taxpayers. We're going to, we're going to try to put an end to this. Not not fleece them. 28 percent. If you're a mom and dad, a cop, firefighter, police officer, etc., you're paying close to that in your income tax. I've also proposed the global minimum tax, which is being proposed around the world for U.S. corporations at 20 percent. Let me tell you what that means. It means that companies aren't going to be able to hide their income in places like the Cayman Islands and Bermuda in tax havens. We're going to also eliminate deductions used by corporations for offshoring jobs and shifting assets overseas. They offshore the jobs, shift the assets overseas, and then don't have to pay taxes on all they make there. And we'll significantly ramp up IRS enforcement against corporations and the super wealthy who either fail to report their income or underreport it. Estimated that would raise tens of billions of dollars. <clears throat> it adds up to more than what I proposed in just 15 years. It's honest, it's fair, it's fiscally responsible, and it pays for what we need and reduces the debt over the long haul. And by the way, I didn't hear any of our friends who were criticizing this plan say that the corporate tax cut, which added $2 trillion of the debt, the Trump tax cut, $2 trillion, $1.9 trillion in debt, wasn't paid for, the vast majority of which went to the top 1 percent of the wage earners. I didn't hear anybody hollering in this recovery, the so-called before we, I became president, this K-shaped recovery, where billionaires made $300 billion more during this period. Where's the